So now, what you guys have all been waiting for, the positives and the negatives of both. Um, so I'll start. Um, so with dentistry, I think, I actually quite like dentistry. I feel like, as I said before, like the confidence aspect of it, so you can see what you've done for a patient almost straight away. So for example, if a patient comes in with pain, you do extraction for them and they're not in pain and they're so grateful for it straight away. Um, if someone doesn't like their smile, you can um, do some cosmetic bonding for them. And because I've done some work experience with, well, two weeks ago with Dr. Rona Skanza and she's a cosmetic dentist and I literally saw the difference it made for her patient. Like the patient came in afterwards, they got their bonding done and they literally, they were so happy with the results. And it was just really nice being able to see that. Um, and generally, I feel like with dentistry, it's more like nine to five kind of work. So like you're working Monday to Friday, you get your weekends off. Um, sometimes I know some dentists, they just work three days a week. You, you really have a lot of flexibility because you're self-employed. So dentists are self-employed. So you have a lot of um, freedom over your schedule and what you want to do. And also there's like a business aspect to dentistry. So if you're someone that likes business, you have the possibility of owning your own dental practice. So um, there's a lot of scope for that. There's a lot, people don't actually realize, but there's actually lots you can do after doing dentistry. You can specialize in like, Cosmetic, not cosmetic. You can do orthodontics, you can do restorative dentistry, endodontics. So there's lots of different things you can do after a dental degree. It doesn't just stop at dentistry. Um, and I feel like in dental school, that's when you actually realise that there's so much scope. You can do like public health dentistry, like oral health education. There's so much to do um, afterwards. So it's very hands-on. Um, I'm quite a hands-on person, quite practical. Um, I do eyebrow threading, so that requires a lot of manual dexterity. So that basically means that you have to practice your hands. So if you're someone who's very creative, you like um, really just really paying attention to detail, then you'd really enjoy dentistry. So one aspect about dentistry that a lot of people don't know is that your oral health actually links to your whole body. So one of, the, one of the interesting things that I find is that you can have a patient that can come in, you can examine them and you can actually detect that they have um, oral cancer and that's something that can literally have a life changing impact on someone's life. So they're coming for a dental appointment and you're able to find out other things about their health that they might not have known before. So there's been instances where patients have come in and we are able to detect sy um, syndromes that they might have just by looking into their mouth and giving them examinations. So, it's not just about your teeth, you can, your, your oral health actually links to your whole body as well. So um, just a few positives that I can think of from the top of my head about um, studying medicine is, first of all, there is a wealth of things that you can specialise in in medicine. You know, everybody thinks, oh, you're going to, um, you need to do medicine, you're going to become a doctor, that's the only thing you can do. And I'm like, first of all, the <laughs> word doctor, you know, define doctor, okay? Because <laughs> there's like just so many different types of like, you know, specialities of medicine that you can go into, you know, there's P's, there's A&E, mm. there's surgery, even in surgery itself, you yeah. know, there's like, you can do cardiac surgery, general surgery, neurosurgery, there's literally so much. And then from that, you know, you have the medicine aspect of that, you could be a hospital doctor. There's just so many things that you can do basically. Mm. And I was really, really happy to choose a degree that kind of didn't help, didn't make me narrow down my options. You know, mm -hmm. I'm a very like open-minded person. Yes, she is. I love change. Yeah. I love, you know, doing something, you know, for one year and then moving mm -hmm. into She's something She's integrated. She's done a whole separate yeah, degree. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> within like, medicine. I kind of enjoy that like, you know, idea of my life is not just set out ahead yeah. of me, you know, like I have options, I can move around. Mm -hmm. And I think that's one of the major positives about medicine is that there's just so many specialities that you can move around in and you can be quite a flexible person with it. Mm. So um, obviously you go to med school and you learn about, a, a, you do, a, you learn about a range of different ones. Mm. And then when you finish, you do your two years foundation program. And then after that, you start your specialized training. So you can decide to do it in one specialty, then specialize in that. And then mm. if you get there and you've done a few years of, let's say, obs and gynae, you're like, actually, I wanted to switch it up there. Yeah. Go back to school and then, you know, I mean, go back into training and then, become a GP or something like that, you know? So mm. it's quite, I like that. And then even if you don't want to go into like the clinical side, you can go into the research side of things, which yeah. is good. And if you don't want to go into the research side of things, you can go into the more public health side of things, which is, is good. So there's, there's kind of the positives, like yeah. it's it doesn't really limit your options. Yeah. There's a range of different, you know, things that you can go into. Mm. Okay. 
Another positive I can think of for medicine is the whole idea like obviously you're working with individuals you know at some of the most vulnerable points of their lives yeah. you know when I started my clinical years and I started going in and clerking patients and really talking to them you realize like a lot of the patients you meet are just going through you know like such hard times mm. and you know just like being ill it just affects so many aspects of your life you know and sometimes there's so many things that come together in order to put you in that position that you are in yeah and so being able to work with people at those stages in their lives and try to work to make it a bit more positive than it is yeah. is honestly like just insanely rewarding, rewarding yeah. but also like I just kind of feel like if I'm going to do something in my life that is what I should be doing yeah. you know yeah. so I think that's like quite a nice positive just yeah to always try to be making someone's life a bit better mm -hmm. and even you know when you do get into specialities like palliative care and end of life medicine and stuff like that you know people think oh it's so negative because you know you're seeing people die all the yeah. time and stuff like that but then I'm giving them a good death you know I'm giving them mm -hmm. a comfortable death what well, I'm trying to you know when yeah. I'm working with them to make sure that they're trying to make the best out of this bad situation mm -hmm. so I think <clears throat> the role in itself is, is really really great and it's really rewarding and mm. it and it you are really like impacting people's lives in a way that not a lot of other careers allow you to do so mm. another another positive about doing medicine is um the fact that you get to study the whole of the human body in depth mm. you know um i think as a degree in itself like actually studying it at medical school you learn so much about the different parts of the human body mm. and you it kind of about that in dentistry as well in first yeah and you do your first and second year yeah, don't so. you so but then with medicine it kind of like goes even in more depth because yeah. you do that across the whole five years so you literally do a lot on like mental health and you mm. go into like physical health then you go into like like, you know, you can do um, musculoskeletal, you can do mm. cardiac, you can do respiratory, like each system of the body, you really learn, yeah. you pick the ins and outs of each system mm. and find out how it all kind of like comes together to create like a healthy person mm. and an unhealthy person. And I think that's like, for me, that was what was really, really interesting as a degree to go and study medicine at university, mm. because I was like, I want a degree where I don't feel like I'm too limited in mm. what I'm focusing on. I can learn a variety of things and then the choice is given to me about which thing that I mm. want to go on into later in life. So yeah, so negatives. Okay, so on to the negatives. <clears throat> so some of the negatives I can think of when it comes to studying medicine, definitely, first of all, it'll include the ridiculously unsocial hours that you'll probably have to work in your F1 and F2 years. So obviously this changes depending on what rotation you're on mm. and what speciality that you're doing at the time. But um, the general consensus amongst medical um, junior doctors in their F1 and F2 is that you will definitely be working, mm. you know, night shifts, weekends, on calls, that kind of thing. And that can be um, really like unsociable, yeah. you know, might put a strain on any relationships or friendships that you have and trying to maintain all that yeah. whilst also working, that can be really difficult. And even in uni actually, it's one of the courses um, which are more heavily timetabled compared yeah. to your other friends who are maybe studying English or history <coughs> and stuff like that. Yeah. So that might seem a bit difficult as well um, when it comes to it. But once again, as I mentioned before, the work that you're doing, you know, yeah. the reason that you're in hospital that long and stuff like that is, really really great and it's life changing for the patients and stuff like that yeah. so um, as tiring and demanding as the um, as tiring and demanding as tiring mm. and demanding the um, job can be it also is very rewarding and such a good job you're doing good work so yeah. that's good so another negative that I can think of when it comes to medicine is that some of the training programs can be really, really, really long. So as a career, there is a lot of career progression, but then it can take quite a while for you to become a consultant or mm. basically at the top of your field. Um, so after your, you do your five or six years in med school, you then have to do F1, F2, so two foundation years, and then you begin your specialty program training. And um, that can take up to another further, you know, three, four, five, six, seven years, mm -hmm. you know, of still sitting exams and, you know, having to be training where you're not really, you know, the top of your field. So if you're someone who kind of wants to graduate and start working and 
just you know start managing like straight away maybe you know medicine isn't a thing for you because you do have to spend quite a while after university and med school where you are still sitting exams you're still revising you're still learning that whole idea of lifelong learning genuinely does apply to medicine it is yeah. a lifelong learning yeah and then finally um one last negative that I can just think of is the whole idea of you know you will be serving patients and working with patients and sometimes when they get really, really ill obviously they can pass away and that can be quite difficult for people to handle on a day-to-day -day basis obviously um, you can try your best and steer towards professions and specialities where you are working with more um, well patients and that kind of thing but then you are probably in your training time going to encounter a few patients who are going to pass away and stuff mm -hmm. and that can have a really heavy toll on you emotionally and things yeah. but then there are very many um there's very many structures put into place where you're able to seek support um mm -hmm. for those kind of emotional hardships you know loads of like counseling available to you and psychotherapies and um occupational health and stuff that's available to you mm -hmm. to make sure that you know these things aren't really affecting you so negatively that you're not able to work anymore yeah so um maybe if you're not someone who might who finds it really hard to deal with the idea of death and sickness and illness in people mm -hmm. then medicine might not be for you but yeah. if you think that that's something that you can come to terms with and get your head around then definitely go ahead with it mm -hmm. okay. So negatives with dentistry, um, one thing about dentistry I find is that it can be quite stressful as a student, even as a dentist. Um, one of these common facts that are thrown around is that dentists have a high suicide rate and I can see why that is because it is quite stressful. You're, you're working in the same room all day, you're looking down in quite a small space because obviously the mouth is a small space. It can be quite straining on your neck and yeah, dentists also do have like a high litigation rate as well. So quite demanding patients if they don't get what they want so you have to even though this even though um you could get quite demanding patients you could be quite stressed it just shows that you have to be the kind of person that's willing to take all this on um you have to have really good communication skills so when you do get when you when you do face demanding patients you know exactly what to say and how to say it um so yeah i feel like even though it can be quite stressful if you're the kind of person that you work well in stress, you can handle like demanding situations, you work well under pressure, then yeah, you can do it. So yeah. So just to round up and summarise, there's a lot of positives and negatives with medicine and dentistry. Yeah. It's definitely up to you what you decide to do. Yeah. You have to think about what you're good at, where your skills lie, are you a more practical person? Do you like problem solving? Do you wanna um specialize like just think about all the things you want to do and yeah. what dentistry can offer what medicine can offer and yeah just decide i definitely think if you're stuck between the two my best advice would be do some work experience yeah, in a definitely. dental practice and then also do some work experience in either gp practice or mm. hospital environment yeah. um because just actually being face to face with the different roles as a doctor and as a dentist you'll be able to compare the two and see which one works more for you and mm. definitely speak to the dentists themselves and speak to the doctors themselves and ask them why they chose the career they chose and how it fits around their life yeah. um, because you also do kind of have to think about you know what you want long term from your yeah, life you know definitely. as she said you know you kind of go into that whole private practice and yeah. really works well you around you know, having business, family life and yeah. stuff but equally at the same time you can find specialities in medicine where you can also do a lot of private medicine or general practice and own a practice and that kind of thing or you can go and do a more demanding um specialities where you're yeah. kind of working around the clock and stuff yeah. so yeah each one has its yeah. pros and There's cons a lot of i guess scope in both of the careers they're both equally they're good careers like whether you choose medicine whether you choose dentistry um yeah they're both good careers and but at the end of the day, even if they're good careers and you don't have a passion for it, you don't, you won't enjoy it. So yeah. don't just pick something because your parents have said, oh, go and do medicine, go and yeah. do dentistry, because trust me, that won't work out. Yeah. There have been people that they've gone into medicine or dentistry simply because their parents have told them to, and mm. they don't, they don't make it fast. So yeah. make sure it's your decision, yeah. what you want to do. Yeah. Uh, okay, thank you guys so much for watching. Um, follow Leona on her socials, which I'll put down below. Remember to like, subscribe, comment, and we really hope it helped you. If you have any more questions, just feel free to ask us and we'll let you know. Best All right. of luck. Best of luck. Bye. See you Bye. next time. Bye.
Fine, fine.